this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages! What? No, no, I didn't stutter last time, I meant it. We've been collecting a lot of secret passwords, and now it's time to put some of them to use. Uh, if you don't want spoilers for some of the characters or the items from Oracle of Ages, you may want to skip the first half of this episode. So, first things first, load your post-game file from where you got the your linked password from. If you didn't create a uh, post-game file, well, you're screwed because the password changes each time you beat the game. So, even if you have the exact same items and everything, uh, it'll still change anyway. So, yeah, that won't exactly work for you. But, um, oh, by the way, also, my passwords that I'm going to be using here don't work. So, but I'll go over a password generator in a bonus episode at the end. Hey, how's it going? Well, remember we encountered her mom in, uh, Oracle of Seasons? Or, well, uh, what was it? Uh, Holodrum there? Well, she gave us a little password for us to, uh, give to her daughter here. So let's go give that to her. Uh, let's see. One more. There, yeah, that ought to do. Ha! There we go. Yeah, you give a secret password to her. What do we get? Yeah, she did kind of look like her, didn't she? Huh. Sure, why not? Sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll see what I can do for you. Sure, why not? You did kind of help me out earlier. I did give the dog the ma that mask earlier, but... Well, let's see what we can do. Let's get the, uh... Uh, the Pegasus Seeds there, and the Power Glove, and let's go look around for the dog. He's in some random location, oh, there it is, some random location in the village, but I guess I got lucky here, so, well, there we go. Oh, it's better than wearing the puppy on my head. There we go. And what do we get for our efforts? We get a ring. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what ring that is that we got for that. But yeah, whenever you get a password over here, you'll get something in exchange for that that you can take back to Oracle of Seasons or whichever game you play first or second. So, uh, let's see. You know, there's one thing I want to do over here. Something that I forgot to do when I was doing Oracle of Ages over here. It's in the past, though, so I, I got to go all the way back over there, though. And I'll do some bonus episodes for, uh, what is it, for the season's passwords, or playing the games the other way around, but no. But yeah, there is something that I forgot to do here. Uh, let's see, let's try a block of Samaria. Hmm. Get out of the way. Ha! Hmm, that didn't seem to do much of anything. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's throw a bomb in at him. Ha ha ha! Apparently he's German, I guess. Uh, let's see. And there's one more that I forgot, because I couldn't get this to work last time. So, wait for him to leave. Get out of the way. Go back down into your toilet. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, nuts. Okay, come on. Now, if I do this... Game? Gotta do this real carefully. Ha! There we go. Ha! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's how you get a Gale Seed uh, to that guy. You have to fall down the pit and then quick drop the Gale Seed on there. But you can't give him a uh, Pegasus Seed, at least as far as I know. So. Okay, well, let's get that Ring Appraise and then go deliver some more passwords. I figured I'd do a few at a time right now instead of doing a bunch of them at once. Or doing them one at a time. Well, you know what I mean, viewers. But anyway. Oh, I did. Huh, I forgot about that. I guess I didn't pick it up last time. Okay, well we gotta get that ring appraised too. Let's get that one appraised first. And we get the Slayer's Ring. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, but it's just like a little trophy or something like that. But anyway, over here, let's see what this ring is. Ooh, the Snowshoe Ring. No sliding on ice. That is very useful in Oracle of Seasons because it's winter time there. So uh, I wanna carry that over there. And well, the only way we can do that is by getting our password. So what I wanna do, is uh, ask for the secret password for the rings here, and I'll take a moment to copy that down and be right back. Okay, I've written down my password, so now we can take that back to Oracle of Seasons there. And it won't overwrite any new rings that you've gotten in Oracle of Seasons, so you don't need to worry about that, but that's how you can transfer the ring over there. 
But anyway, let's go see what we can do with those other passwords. Remember whenever you got those passwords, they told you, hey, go give this to, uh, or tell this to someone back in the Rhino. Well, that's how you're supposed to know who you give which passwords to who, and so on, like that. I don't know why I'm killing more enemies, except for spite! Freaking octopi. Hey, how's it going? Alright. Well, maybe I will sometime. Maybe in, uh, Majora's Mask? Well, maybe if I decide to LP that someday. But anyway, this is the fairy that we're looking for, so... Well, yeah! Let's give her that password! The fairy secret, so... Minus G... S... Uh, let's see... Ampersand and B. There we go. Ha! There we go. Now, when you see... Okay, look at the top of the screen. Right next to... To the left... Sorry about that. To the left of the rupee icon and the eight there. Look at this. Watch this. Ha-ha! Yeah, you see what they did there? Yeah, they made room for another heart container. You thought there was a maximum of 14, but there is not. So, there you go. That's how you're supposed to... Uh, let me write this down. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to know... Um, or that's how you're supposed to get up to 16 heart containers. So yeah, they kind of tricked you there, but I like it. So, alright. So yeah, what we gotta do is take that password back to Oracle of Seasons there. So, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go after another secret. And get some more of these. Not that I'll need them. Uh, what is it? Uh, Baran is gone, by the way. You try to go to the Black Tower, the room's just empty there. So there's nothing you can do. Like, you can't re-fight the final boss again. So, oh wow. But anyway, I do want to head up back up here to meet an old friend that a lot of you don't like. I've never played uh, Wind Waker, so I wouldn't know. But anyway, Tingle! Yay! Well, absolutely, anyone would know cooler secrets than you. Okay, let's see. Once again, minus GS. Where'd my pet? Oh, there it is. It's like, where'd it go? Ha! There we go. And for giving him this password, what do we get in exchange? I don't have, you know, that uh, 70s mustache going on me, but, you know, I take what I can get. What do we get from him? We get the power to hold more seeds! Yes! So now we can hold a maximum of 99. So, okay, let's uh, get this password so we can get more seeds in the Holland Room there, or Oracle of Seasons. Okay, there we go. And let's see this. Okay, I, I assure you, I will not steal your magic words. People look at me funny. Okay, so let's uh, let's see one more password, and that is back up in Symmetry Village here. And it's not here. Okay, um, you know, let's go for uh, Tuna Echoes, just for old times' sake. We want to. Uh, Head back to the past to find the person to give the password to. Huh, it activated both warps at the same time. That's kind of weird. Well, anyway, I want to go up here and give one of these two a secret password. So let's see. For some reason, the first three are always minus GS. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it has something to do with identifying my game file or something. Let's see. Haha! -ha! There we go. Oh, absolutely! Just like Death the Kid. Hey, hey, all right. Oh, hey, I just, let me look at that. A not is it? Hey, that's a palindrome there, or a palindrome sentence, or whatever. There we go. Oh, that's weird. But anyway, we get another ring box. Okay. And we got to get this password to carry that over into a holodrum. And okay. All right. Well, that's everything we can do in Oracle of Ages. So now I'll just meet you back in uh, Oracle of Seasons. And, well, I'll put those passwords to use soon enough, viewers. Okay. We're back in Oracle of Seasons, right where I left off last time. So let's go put Dimitri to some use by eating octopi. And, uh, yeah, let's head on down here. Whenever you got ice and Dimitri walks on it, it just automatic he automatically crushes it. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Ooh, a heart piece. Just out of my reach. Nuts. Let's see what we can do down here. Oh, yeah, you can just pick him up like that. But, uh, 
Nah, I, I'm not really interested in that. Dimitri, get off. Or, get on. Ha! There we go. Now, if you made it winter, you can get over to that cave over there. So let's go do that. Because if it weren't winter, this tree would be in our way. So, let's do that. Oh, and by the way, since last time, I had to re-equip my ring. I, I did that off-screen. But I had to do that uh, because uh, when you fight Blano, he takes away your ring. Or he unequips it. But anyway, uh, if you come over here in winter, you can get 100 rupees. If you're playing Oracle of Seasons first, then you can find a, ver a key item there. The square jewel. But, uh, well, I don't have that, so... Oh! Whoa! I do not know how to kill those guys very easily for some reason. Okay, well, anyway, before heading over to Sabrosia, to the west there, I want to, uh, put some of those secret passwords to use. And I can't get in that cave up there, so don't even bother trying. But I can eat Zoras, so that's kind of nice. Oh, hey, there's a little cave over here that I couldn't reach before. Hey, how's it going? Are you going to take my money from me? Oh. Okay, I guess he's not going to do anything for me. Okay, well, never mind. We'll be back there later, viewers. But for now, let's go for more some map... Or some more map completion. Screw the Zoras. Let's see, where is that one? Ah, one more. Ha! If you go up here... Guess what we find? Some more secret soil! I don't want to plant my last Gasha Seed there. Yeah, I'm down to one. I don't want to plant it there because it's really out of the way for me to come back and check on it. So, I'm not going to bother with that. By the way, remember that cave where I told you about the square jewel in the winter there? Because I'm probably going to start the next episode over there. So, just remember how to get back there. This is how I'm going to do that. But, anyway, in order to put those passwords to use, we got to fight Maple off here first. Now... No, but, eh, I might as well. Uh, eh, nothing interesting, just some more money. I wonder if I could lose rupees and then, with the gold joy ring, net double the rupees. Hmm. Ha! Gotcha. Eh, I could use more hearts, but oh well. Nuts. Why, you little! I'll get you next time, Maple! Okay, so, anyway, let's head on back to the Maker Tree and put some of those passwords to use over there. Remember Ferrari over there, who was saying something about all those secrets? Well, now we can give the secrets that we got from Oracle of Ages and give them to her here in Oracle of Seasons. So, I like how they did that with the whole interaction between the two games. I mean, can you imagine if you did that, like, in Chrono Cross, then went back to Chrono Trigger and got some items or something, and you could take it back in the Chrono Cross? I mean, I've never seen this kind of interaction between two different games like that. It's amazing. I love it. So anyway, uh, let's give the, well, one of the passwords that we got before. Let's see, amp, er, at, five, why, question mark. Question mark man? No. No. But anyway, you give the, uh, the, that was the fairy secret, or the one I got from the fairies there. I'll do the ring one that I got off screen with the snowshoe ring, because, uh, well, you already seen it. But anyway, we get another heart container. All right. And we can talk to her again to get some more pass or give her some more passwords. So let's do that. Let's see. W and dollar sign. Do I get dollars from this? Let's find out. We get more seeds. It doesn't max it out to 99. It's only like the first upgrade. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's only the first upgrade to it. So oh well. But anyway, let's uh, give her one more password that I've got here. So. See that and that. Okay. And I'm not going to take all this time to go through how to use secret passwords every single time I get a new one. Well, we got the level 2 ring box. We can hold three more rings, so. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I just decided to take an episode today to go over how it all works because, well, if you don't know, I mean, you know, you might not know. Oh, by the way, this book here, uh, it contains all of your uh, passwords that you got from the people here before. So if you forgot to write them down, that's how you can get them. So I'm going to get my snowshoe ring, and then we'll return to Spool Swamp to try and find that next dungeon there. Next time on Let's Play Oracle of Seasons! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!